here I'm going to show you how to create the different shipping labels that you can create using WorldShip. The first one that I'm going to show you is called the consignee label and this is a secondary fully customizable label printed on a 4x8 inches label. Uh, it's very easy, you just simply have to go to the printing setup, uh, select the label stock that is, has to be a 4x8 and that's pretty much it. Then you just have to select the print consignee label option here and once I do that I go to tools and then the create edit custom label and create or edit the consignee label. I already have one here so I'm just going to edit it uh, as you can see here is fully customizable I have a QR code, I have different fields that are specific to the shipment and then all I have to do is associate it to a specific profile and save it and once I do that uh, once I create a shipment I what I'm going to get is um, the shipping label as you're going to see here the first one is just the regular shipping label with an image that I'll show you how to do later on and then the second is the fully customized consignee label you can use it for marketing purposes or whatever the case may be the next label I'm going to show you is called well a 4x8 non perforated one where what I'm going to do is just basically add the five reference fields so I just make sure that I have the proper stock and then the extended area usage select the reference field and that's basically all you have to do next time once you start preparing a shipment and adding the different reference fields what you're going to get is in your shipping label the lower section will have the five different reference fields the first two ones are the default world ship uh, reference fields and the last three is what we added the next label is just basically a generic barcode that could be added at the bottom section of the label so again I just have to make sure to have the 4x8 label and select the generic barcode um, and select the reference field that I want to associate to that barcode here I selected the reference number too and this is how it will look like very uh, productive and useful for warehouse environments where there's inventory management that has to be done now the next label is called the shipment label header uh, this is the first upper two inches section of the label where I just have to again select the proper label stock and the shipment label header option once I do that I go to the create and edit custom labels and here I have again an example where I already had a few values here um, images and values specific to the shipment just have to reference it to a specific profile and that's all I have to do and in here in this example I have here in the upper section the first two inches the shipment label header in this case is the company logo but in this example I have the specific reference field for example that is specific to the shipment that I just created the next type of label is the it's called the shipment and package dock labels so all I have to do again is just select the proper stock in this case I'm going to select the one that it's called perforated and <clears throat> I just have to apply it and make sure to select the print shipment dock label and the package dock label you'll have a better idea once I show you the final results but here I go again to the custom label editor and select here the shipment or package dock label I already have created my own if not you just have to create your own new template so the package dock label <coughs> will show you that at the bottom I can fully customize uh, the information that I want in this case is going to put I'm going to put information related to the specific package uh, I can also add images uh, in this case I'm just going to show you I'm going to delete this one but it has a happy face there it has a reference field I can find them here uh, do a alphabetical order and 
once I'm comfortable with the information that I want to have in that piece of label I just have to save it and associate it to a specific profile so that was the package doc label and then I'm going to move to the shipment doc label the shipment doc label basically is again the bottom section of the label but this one refers to the whole shipment so here in this case I have for example the total weight of the shipment the total shipping charges of the whole shipment and once I save it I can have for example a multi-piece shipment three packages let's say with different values and the good thing about this one is that once I print it since this is a perforated label as you can see the bottom section it's detachable and I can use it to keep a log of information with you know specific information about, about that box it has for example here for the package 2 of 3 the dimensions and the weight of that specific package so this way is a good way to reconcile the information and then the shipment dock label is the last one as you can see the upper section is blank and the lower portion is just the summary of that shipment um, finally here I have a four and a half by eleven uh, example with again the same uh, shipment header so we just have to select the proper label stock the shipment label header uh, once I do that this is going to be printed out in a regular laser printer again this is something that I showed you before once I do that when I print it this is a regular piece of paper where there's uh, two inches where I can fully customize information promotional messages for my customers then finally is just the basic 4x6 plain vanilla I would call it um, shipping label there's really nothing to be customized nothing to be done just selecting the label stock and that's pretty much it basic shift to information so I hope you enjoyed this information hope it's helpful that's pretty much